Oh, what is up, beautiful? So I am in a hallway right now, actually. Yeah, it is what it looks like. And there's a good reason for that because Eric is behind the door in my beauty room. Hi, Eric. Eric, say hi. Hi. <laughs> And that is because we are doing a hair challenge today. I think this is going to be really interesting to see if Eric has any kind of natural hair talent, um, which I'm not too sure about. Eric, what do you think? Do you have any natural hair talent? Do I have any hair talent? Yeah. Um, I have a lot of hair talent, Brad. I mean, we both grew up in a salon. My father owned a salon, so we'll see. So basically, what we're doing, if you haven't already put the pieces of the puzzle together, I am wearing a microphone. Eric is wearing an earpiece. Eric can hear me through the earpiece, but cannot see me. And I cannot see Eric. Eric is going to listen to my words to learn how to balayage paint Miss Manny Quinn's hair. He has never in his life highlighted hair, right Eric? Brad, we're not doing balayage. <laughs> <laughs> he, can't, he can't even say the word, never mind, do it. <laughs> yeah, I've never painted anything, Brad, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so Eric in front of him has a bunch of tools. These tools are everything he's going to need to do balayage painting, then tone it to rose gold, and then style it. Brad, we could have done something simple. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I thought we were potentially doing a haircut. No, we are fully going for it, Eric. Course, if we are going to Brad. do it, we are going to do it hardcore. Of course. So I will be teaching him only through his earpiece. He will not be able to see me. I will not be able to see him. And this should be difficult. However, I think that I'm a good teacher. So I think this might be fine. We'll see how good Eric is at following directions though. That might be where we go wrong. Excuse me. <laughs> so Eric, yes. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud okay. what's up. So the vibe we're going for today is a nice, vibrant, Rose gold balayage. That's what your client wants today. Have you met your client yet? Yeah, what's what's her name? Miss Manny Quinn. Miss Manny Quinn. Oh, and please put on your um put on your apron. It is of on course, the chair. Of course, of course. Um because we cannot do hair color without having a cute apron on. There we go. That is on. Great. Great job. Miss Manny Quinn would not shake my hand, but she I think she's ready to go. Great. So Eric, we are going to start off by lightening the hair with bleach. So to begin we are going to section the hair out in a halo section. Of course. So I want about an inch and a half all the way around the perimeter sectioned out and the rest clipped up in a bun. An inch and a half from the perimeter of the base? <laughs> the top so half hard. Like a, a, a messy bun, right? Yeah, like you want the perimeter all taken out and I want the perimeter to be an inch and a half wide. Does that make sense? No! <laughs> what, what part of that is not making sense? Do you know what a halo is? Like a like an angel halo. Of course I do, Brad. Okay, so like you're going around the head in a in one solid strip. Does that make sense? <sighs> sure. Eric, we just started this. <laughs> Brad, I feel I feel confident in what I'm gonna do. Okay. Am I supposed to use the end of the brush or the end of the comb? I would use a comb and lay it flat on the head and go around the entire perimeter and section it out. So lay it flat on the head and then go around. Just section out the perimeter and please try. I am literally trying so hard right now. Yo, this looks easy, but I don't think it is. <laughs> Wait, Eric, this will be easier for you. Just split the hair down the middle. Split it down the middle? Yeah. Okay, hold on, I need to comb her out again. Okay, I'm gonna like pick up the pace a little bit because you know, we do have like a time limit here because um, Miss Manny Quinn actually said she has a date tonight. Oh, okay. Brad, I just want to say I'm really happy Miss Manny Quinn has no um, nervous system because I don't think she'd be very happy with me right now. No. So this is also just an easy way to paint for beginners because there's not a lot of sectioning involved and it's a very easy way to paint if you're just learning how to paint. So, Mr. Mondo. Yeah. Uh, is this going to look like highlights? Yes. Okay. So what balayage refers to is not how the hair looks, it's a technique on how to highlight hair. So it's like a free form way of highlighting where you're just looking, evaluating, and freehand painting the hair. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And, and it goes up it. and down, right? It goes up and down? I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, I think I think I answered my own question. I'm pretty okay. sure it does. So now what I do is put some gloves on. I'm trying to visualize this in my head what I would do. Okay, gloves are on. Now I'm gonna open up the powder bleach. Powder bleach. Yes. I should call it lightener. I shouldn't call it bleach. It's like an ugly word. My cosmetology teacher would be very mad if I called it bleach. So lightener, Eric. It's always called lightener. I do have the powder lightener. Lightener. It's prettier. Up to that. seven levels of lift. How many scoops? We can do two. What, what happens if I do more than two? 
you might die. <laughs> <laughs> are these heaping scoops? These are large scoops. Okay, I, just two scoops, check. Two scoops. Now let's open the 30 volume uh, developer. The 30 volume developer, check. Yes. Okay. So we have that. We're going to now mix the 30 volume in. We're going to eyeball this. We're not going to Wait, 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 wait. How are you supposed to eyeball it if your eyeballs are over there? That is right. <laughs> you are going to be my eyeball. <laughs> Open that. Pour. Who gives instructions by eyeballing it? <laughs> Pour enough in so it looks kind of even with the powder, but maybe like a little bit less than that. Okay. Those are the greatest directions I've ever given in my life, I think. And just whisk it together? Whisk it together. Okay, so you want it kind of like a little bit more liquidy than toothpaste. Like, it's like, uh, kind of like Cool Whip. Okay, okay. Is it, is it thick? I would say it's kind of gelatinous. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go with that, hopefully. Let's grab a brush of your liking. I oh. would prefer something with a nice tapered edge, something maybe medium size. There's a few different brushes there. Whatever feels natural to you. I'm gonna use the one that's um, black and small on the top and it has a really pointy end. That one's more for like foil highlighting, but if that's what feels best. You no, know I'm gonna use the blue one. I'm going with the blue one. Okay. So <laughs> you're gonna grab the right side. Which right side? <laughs> We'll just pick a side. Okay. Grab a section. You have a brush in one hand. That is correct. Oh God, I'm like trying to visualize this. Um, okay, so, <laughs> this is so hard. Put the brush down, put, a bit, put, put it in the bowl. Okay, it's in the bowl. Wait, Brad, pause. Yes. Quick question. What? Is most of the bleach going on the roots or is it going on the non-roots? I will show you. Okay. Okay, so grab a, a comb. Got it. And comb that section out. You got it? Yes. Put your hand up, whichever hand you feel like holds the hair naturally. There. And do like a scissor with your hand. And oh my God, it. I just did that before you even said it. Oh my God. <laughs> but I did it with the other hand though. Okay, go. Okay, so now you're gonna comb with one hand and scissor with the other one down the hair. Okay. And then hold it taut. And then Wait, once you get to the end with the comb, put the comb combing. back on the table. I'm gonna and repeat keep back holding. what I'm doing just to make sure. So we're, and then we are scissoring so it is nice and like you're taut taut so now you're gonna start towards where your fingers are at the end of your hair at the end of the hair yeah okay and i'm, and I'm stroking upwards you're stroking stroking very light strokes Erica. upwards um downwards okay oh god so now you're gonna start painting but you're gonna keep stroking okay but if you say stroke one more time <laughs> This is gonna come out so crazy, I already know it. It's going well. Okay, you're stroking, right? Yes. <laughs> stop, you're stroking it. Oh, I can't stop saying it. Yeah. So you're kind of starting near your fingers and you're going upwards. Oh, wait a minute. I asked that and you said go downwards. Okay, so it's a downward stroke, but you're going upwards at the same time. It's an upward downward. Yes. <laughs> like you are going towards the root, you're just not stroking towards the root. Brad, are we sure we want to do this? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so it, would you say the surface is lightening, is, has lightener on it? That would be a yes. Does the entire thing have lightener or just the surface? The surface. Great. Now you're ready to finish the ends off because you did the, the rest of the hair shaft, right? Okay, I, I kind of lied when you asked me. I, I did finish the ends already. Okay, so the whole piece is done. Yes. And you let it go. Yeah, I let it go. I feel like I didn't give you that direction. So. <laughs> You're not very good at following directions, are you? Right, it's just, it was taking a long time. My fingers were hurting. Okay, so the whole piece is done. The, the ends are nice and saturated, right? I would say the ends are saturated. You can always lay the hair on the back of your hand at the bottom and then take the paintbrush and gently stroke the ends once to get that last glob of paint on the end. There's nothing worse than having like a dark piece at the end. Okay, I, I think it's good. So now that's our first piece, Eric. Congratulations. Should I, do this? Should I do the other section of this section? So now you're gonna skip an inch in between and go on to the next section. So you're going around the head towards the front. Yeah. Skip an inch, grab two inches of hair and start painting again. Oh. Okay, there's only like an inch left if I skip an inch. Uh, <laughs> okay, well whatever you do, we wanna make sure that the last piece you do on that side is in the very front of her hair. Okay, I can do that. Because we want a very impactful highlight. Okay, I'm feeling much better about this like those money pieces up in the front. Okay, Good. Brad, are we ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you exactly what I'm doing, okay? Great. So what I am doing is I am scissoring the hair with my 
with my now I'm using my thumb and my fork, my index finger. Okay. I have combed through the hair, so it is very nice and taut. Mm. And now what I'm going to do is take my brush full of bleach, and mm -hmm. I'm going to do upward strokes, starting at the bottom of the hair. Downward strokes going upward. You got it. Downward strokes going upwards. Yep. Great. You sound very confident. And now I'm and now I'm going to the bottom of the hair, and and making sure there's plenty. On it. Uh, is it taking you a long time to paint or are you just doing like two strokes and done? No, that was it. I just I just did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seemed very confident. How do you feel? Um, so I feel like I think I know what I'm doing, but I don't really know. <laughs> okay, and so the ends, you just did the ends? Yes, the ends I would say have been stroked. Okay, and it's not bleeding through the other side. I would say that's actually a no, Mr. Mondo. Great. So now we're on the last section on that side, right? I would say that was the last section. <laughs> Eric, I just told you the last section needs to be the front. That was the front. No, like the last section. <laughs> <laughs> She's a small head, doesn't she? I, I, I thought it was like just two sections. No, we need like at least three probably. On each half of the head? On each subsection, we need three sections. It's supposed to be like bleach, Blank, bleach, blank, bleach. Okay. What's going on with the front hairline though? It is currently up in the messy bun. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I knew something sounded off about the halo reference. Eric, it is not a literal halo. Well, I'm sorry, I haven't I haven't seen any pictures of angels lately, have you? <laughs> <laughs> and also, Brad, like I said, the halo sits about two inches off the top of the head, so this reference sucks anyway. Okay, so now, Eric, your last piece is gonna be what we call the money piece. The money piece? This, right after you're done blow drying, this is where every girl looks first. It's right? kind of like at the, at the where the where it parts in the middle, right? Yes, where it parts. We're gonna make the money piece about an inch wide. But I would say mine is about an inch wide. Okay. This one's gonna be a little different because we want it to be very bright in the root down. You're gonna take the bleach this time. You're gonna start up in the kind of the middle of the hair. Okay. And you're gonna wanna add a lot of bleach and then once you start getting to the root, maybe add a little more bleach to the, to the brush and then feather it like slightly to the, to the, to the root, to the very skin. Does that make sense? Yes. And I'm going all the way to the root, right? All the way to the root, but you're feathering it to the very root. I would say I'm done with this section. Does that make sense, Eric? Uh, can you repeat that? Okay, please listen. Brad, it's hard to hear and do things. Okay, just listen for a second. That to be, you want this front piece to be kind of bright in the root, but not too, too bright. All right, I would say that piece is done. You want to literally take the rest of the hair, Eric, and literally put so much bleach on there that it's like fully saturated. Every both piece. sides? Yeah, both sides. Yes. All right, yeah, I would say it's there. And now take your saran wrap. Oh God, I knew this was coming. <laughs> Be very gentle with the saran wrap. It's a little annoying. Brad, Manikin's probably gonna suffocate. Probably. <laughs> Manikin is definitely dead. <laughs> she is completely dead. Okay, good. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Okay, she is clipped and she's in. Okay, Eric. So now that you have your first entire subsection done, you're now gonna hustle through. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay, so now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Um, how are you doing, Miss Manny Quinn? Really good. <laughs> how much hair do you have left after all of, uh, all this halo section is done? I'd say like a good amount. All right, so what I'm doing is I am getting a good portion of bleach on the brush like so. I'm starting in the rear of the head. Downward strokes going upward. Oh, look at you. Oh, okay, it's, okay. I know it sounds good, but I don't know if that's actually the case. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what this looks like, honestly. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of good for you. I Thank you for the confidence, Brad. <laughs> Here I come, Manikin. Feeling really, really strongly about this, okay? Perfect. All right, and now I think I'm at the money piece now. You move fast. Hey, I got a lot of clients to do today. <laughs> I have a could... blow dry at 2.30. If you could fix <laughs> No, 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 you don't blow dry, you're a colorist. I have a correction in three. Manny Quinn died about three hours ago. <laughs> she, she died from the in inhalation of bleach in her nostrils, and then she died because I suffocated her with the saran wrap. <laughs> Eric. Have you checked on the other side how it's processing? Absolutely not. Okay, well, why don't you just take a little peek when you're done with that? All right, I'm still on the money piece, though. I'm really dabbing it on there. Okay. Do you know what the saran wrap is doing? Uh, it's keeping the heat in. Keeping the heat in, correct. But it's not going to produce as much heat as, say, foils. So if you really want a massive amount of lightning, you're going to want to use foils instead. But we use saran wrap in order to keep the heat in and keep our sections clean so that the back of the other <laughs> sections so that the back of the other sections don't mix in with other sections of bleach so everything stays nice and organized and clean that makes sense yeah okay she's really like wrapped up like a christmas present we do have some lightning occurring how's it look uh i would say it's a nice go i would say it's like a 
like a six N. Do you really know what that is? No. <laughs> so let's, we gotta work faster. Cause what's gonna happen is one side's gonna process faster than the other. So now let all the other sections down. Cool. Done. Your aim is to have six total highlights. Brad, I just need to take a moment to say that you make this look a lot easier than it is IRL. <laughs> I know, it's not easy. It's really, should would not recommend trying at home or even with a hairdresser in your ear. Um, <laughs> so just FYI. Starting about in the middle of the uh, section and painting all the way to the top. Don't go all the way to the top. No, and I'm not going all the way to the top. Oh yeah. I would say that section is done, Brad. Okay. Uh, this is not gonna come out the right way. Why? Because it looks like there's like three really strong strokes of bleach. Oh yeah, no, it's supposed to be like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All it right, it might look a little stripey just cause you've, you've never done this before. Can I go on my own? Little okay. tangent over here, yeah, I'm gonna do this side first and then I'm just gonna saran wrap the whole more head. More than one way to Walmart, Eric. Exactly. I am working hard over here for Manny Quinn. Listen, if this doesn't tip me, I'm so gonna up her hair next time. <laughs> okay, so wait, you already did both sides? Yeah. Wow, you're pretty fast, Eric. I mean, I have a lot of things to do today. The lightning going. Can I peek under the hood? Oh, Manny Quinn, you're gonna love this. Wait, now, should I saran wrap it? Yes, saran wrap everything. You can do one giant piece if you'd like. I hate saran wrap! Whoa, that was literally perfect. You did it? Yeah. Wow, I'm actually feeling really confident. Woo! Now, how much hair do you have up there? I would say like a handful. Can you give me some square footage, square inches? Like a um, five by five. Okay, that's kind of a lot. So now pull all that hair up basically into a ponytail in your hand. All right, I have the pony. So now take the back of the tail comb. You're gonna go across like a slice of bread. So imagine there being, <laughs> this is so hard to explain. Um, imagine it being divided into three sections, right? All right, all right. And you wanna go horizontally as if she had shoulders. Like I wanted her to go horizontally in the shoulders. No. <laughs> Let it all down again. Is it all laying flat? Yeah. Okay, you wanna take three pieces of a pie, okay? And you wanna start in the back. So you want that to be your biggest pie piece. Yeah, all right. What kind of pie is it? It is a vegan apple pie. Can it be like a pumpkin pie? No. And now you can start painting again, but just do not go up to the root all the way. Don't go to the root. I would say this is, this is really well done. Woo! And you're still holding the brush correctly? Yep. Okay, just visualize this. So whatever you're painting right now is gonna be light. And the goal is to make it all come from the front of her hair and go a little bit deeper in the back. Does it kind of have like a V slant going back? Yeah. Dope, okay, great. Okay, now do the same thing on the other side. And this is your last section, obviously. Can I do some designs on the top? Nope. Make sure the back doesn't go higher up though than the front are pieces, right? Wait, what? Make sure the back isn't higher up with the lightener than the sides you did. Okay, it's not. Okay, great. Okay, now you cover the rest of it with saran wrap. And then we're gonna let that process until it is sort of a yellowy blonde. Okay, uh, there is no question about it that she is now dead. I actually forget which side of the, her face <laughs> is the front. Okay, Miss Manny Quinn, we are gonna wait 35 minutes and we'll check your highlights and then we'll see if we can rinse it. Okay. Miss Manny Quinn, we're gonna wait 30 minutes and then we're gonna check your highlights and then we'll see if we can rinse it. Can I get you anything? Tea or coffee? Tea or coffee. <laughs> Miss Mannequin, you look so beautiful. And how do you feel about your work so far? I feel really good about it. Um, I would say that the money pieces are absolutely money. I'm really excited to see it. Me too. Okay, so now you're gonna take the rose gold overtone in front of you, and you're just gonna take the cap off and you're gonna work right out of the bottle, okay? Yeah. So what this is is a toner, so it's not gonna lift the hair, it's just gonna deposit tone on top of the already pre-lightened blonde hair you just did with the lightener, AKA the bleach. Okay, so I just dip into the overtone. Um, but, oh, Eric. Yeah? Um, do you think everybody watching has subscribed to our new channel? Ah, uh, I don't know, but I think that they should. I think not, and I think you should get on that. I think they should, link below. Our first episode is already out, our second episode is coming out, it's kinda good. Yeah. Okay, anyways. All right, continue explaining, I'm gonna put the gloves on while you're explaining. Okay, so you're gonna just 
you know, get it on every lightened piece of hair. Um, there's really no point in putting it on the dark parts because it's not gonna do anything. It's such a light color. Do I need to section it? Yeah, I would section out like the bottom part first. So just like put your finger through it and like section out into three. All right, I'm going to begin to put the overtone uh, rose gold onto the hair sections. I'm just going to saturate the blonde pieces. Can I just use my hands? Yeah, and just mush it in with your hands. Like get really deep in there. Don't be gentle with it, get it really in there. I'm really making sure it's in there. I am liberally applying the overtone rose gold to the blonde pieces. Again, very thankful that my client here has a very high tolerance of, for pain. And then just make sure you mush it in, Eric. Mush it in there. Okay. Get it on every hair strand. Section that is complete, and this section I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna take some of the overtone and put it on the top, making sure I get it on all the different parts. Are you done yet? I'm getting impatient. All right, I would say it's pretty heavily saturated. I'm gonna rub it in like a head massage. All right, so let's rinse it off in 20, throw some Glitterati Styling Serum in it, blow dry it, and then I'm finally gonna see what the outcome is. I'm feeling really confident. Okay, amazing. Let's do it. It's all finished, you're done? No, wait, I'm not. <laughs> but it's blow dried? Yeah, I didn't like have a chance to flat iron it because she was running late for her date. But does the blow dry look good? I would say it's a little frizzy, but like it's there. All right, put some effort into it. Brad, do you think I know how to blow dry hair? All right, I'm gonna come see it. All right, come in. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> it's like really good. Wait. <laughs> Let Wait, me Brad, examine. I just don't look like too far in the back. Eric, this like, isn't bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for me teaching you without even like <laughs> being here, oh my God. <laughs> I would say that this is actually quite nice. Like I could see a person actually going out wearing this. Oh my God, Eric, look at your money piece. My money piece. I mean, it's mad chunky, but it's kind of cute. <laughs> It's kind of cute. Right, like, and look, wait, see, see up here, Brad? Good blending. Yeah, okay, don't look like too deep in the back. <laughs> like, but look at that consistency. Are you proud of it? So proud. What do you feel like you excelled at? And what do you think you kind of So I think I really, really went for the money pieces. <laughs> They're definitely very like visible yeah. on the head. But honestly, I think it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It kind of brings you back to like the 90s a little bit, you know? I think I was pretty good with like the consistency too, yeah. you know? Like I didn't really like, Eric, like if I was going in, I was going in. Eric, I'm not seeing a lot of bleeding or anything. Look at this. <laughs> Do you like doing hair? No. I swear, guys, I did not look <laughs> once and I did not help you, Eric. I, at you did all. not look once. I can't wait to watch the footage though and see what you actually did. Okay, I will say, all right, points of improvement. My sectioning was oh, all like over the place. Like this. this looks great, Eric. Right? This is some nice blending back <laughs> here. But like the blending you did in the back, like you gave her like almost an all around, like nice, look at that. Lightened hair color. <laughs> Oh, are serious? I know, let me see the ends. Dude, they're lightened all the way through. You don't have any bleeding in here. And honestly, how easy was that technique? Not easy. For the first half, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't doing the technique the right way. What would you give me for a grade? Are you ready for this? Yeah, what? For the task at hand and, and for all the obstacles you overcame, I would have to give you a solid A. <laughs> I'm really satisfied with this for not even like getting help in person and only listening to me. It's really impressive. All right, well, <laughs> that was fun. Uh, Brad, you know it. what really did it? What? The Glitterati. Uh, the Glitterati. The Glitterati really did it. <laughs> I blame her. <laughs> well guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. And thanks Eric for being here. Of course. Yeah, but thanks for instructing me. Make sure you guys follow Eric on Instagram at Eric. Mondo underscore. Make sure you follow me, Brad Mondo NYC. Make sure you follow our new YouTube channel, Brad and Eric. It'll be linked below and also linked to the end screen so you can just wait for that to happen. It's a really fun channel about the, behind the, the behind the scenes of our lives. And shop Glitterati, shop the new merch below. I mean, so cute. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see 
Thank you. Oh. Next time. Peace.